Hello friends, welcome to my channel Live Texan Tools and in this video I am talking about APM versus KK which flight controller is better. Friends, I had built drone using this both flight controller, uh, KK flight controller and APM flight controller. So I had uh, some experience, little experience to tell about APM and KK flight controller. So let's uh, share my experience. So let's start. So number one is stability. Which flight controller has better stability? Friends, FM flight controller has a very nice stability, and it is you you can use it for also video purpose. But uh, I will not professionally not recommend it for video purpose. But sometime you can use. So number two is a uh, lifespan. Which flight controller has better lifespan? Um, when I use KK flight controller, then after some times, after some days, or after some days, uh, the KK flight controller um, wobbles. It means that drone becomes wobbles. It means uh, what's a gizzy flight? It means what's a dummy flight, uh, or what you can say. And uh, APM flight controllers give a better lifespan, and the, the drone can fly stable for a long time. So in in the lifespan. In the compar comparison of live man, APM flight controller is better. And then let's talk about price. Then pr there is a huge difference between the price. Uh, you can find a um, KK flight controller under twenty dollar in a market, and then you can buy APM flight controller under forty dollar in the market. So it is a twenty dollar difference. So your KK is the cheapest, and APM flight controller is a uh, what's that? Expensive. So let's talk about programming difficulty which uh, so here which flight controller is easy to program so um, kk flight controller is a uh, it is a ready made it means a ready programmed it means program flight controller so you you have you not need any kinds of computer to program a, a kk flight controller so just do a setting and you are ready to fly the kk flight controller made drone and uh, if you are building a drone using a APM, then APM needs a computer to program a APM uh, to program a drone. Uh, so, and you can also you have to also install a mission planner software. So here, um, programming difficulty is uh, easier. It means there is no more programming difficulty in KK flight controller than APM flight controller. So here, KK flight controller wins. And overall, the conclusion is that uh, if you are beginners, then you can use a KK flight controller. But you are, if you are going to a next level, then you can use the APM flight controller uh, because it supports many new features which are not available in KK flight controller. So if you like the videos, then please do like, share, and subscribe. Also, press the bell icon for getting upcoming videos. Thank you. Goodbye.